What's going on, y'all? Um, right now, I'm just going over my new budget for 2022. Me now living in Cali and working with Rise University, Rise Energy, um, being in the solar market, pretty much. So I keep waking up like five, not even five, like sheesh, like three, sometimes two, like three to five a.m. Right, and I won't be able to go back to sleep at all. That shit, that shit is so annoying. So like now, I'm going to the gym. It's gonna be annoying because I got work at eleven. Then from 11 to like 8 o'clock, I gotta be out on the road. So it's kinda like whatever, you know? And then, but it's annoying because I just don't fall back to sleep. Like, I know everyone else, they be sleeping like, oh, bro, I'd be sleeping like 8, 10, 12 hours. I'd be like, how do you sleep that long? I cannot sleep that long. Even sometimes I'll hit the gym. Unless I'm like really, and I feel exhausted. I feel exhausted, tired. But it's like, sheesh, yeah. I cannot fall asleep for shit. Ooh. Ooh. Range, it's good luck. Um, I'm gonna record my workout today. Uh, sets sets been real good. I've been getting a lot of sets lately. I really wish I could be like a closer or closer now, but I don't have a car, so it'd be like impossible for me to like really run appointments unless I'm like in that territory that day. And I just go there at that time. Even though I'm like walking all day, I still do cardio when I go to the gym. <clears throat> I don't know why, cause I. One, I probably, I really don't walk. Nah, that's cap. I don't know. My joints just need it. I should probably do more yoga though. I feel like that'd be a lot better. Do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do yoga instead of this. Yep, yeah, that's how I'm looking right now. Pre-workout. Oh, I was supposed to go back for my pre-workout. I grabbed that instead of my protein. Well, not pre-workout, just protein drink. So, this is after today. Only did about nine out of like my 13 workouts. But... Pretty good. That's him. Yeah. <sighs> you gotta figure out the rest of the video. It was a lot of work to figure this figure this out. I have like a lot of stuff, transactions, but as of right now, looking at it, my monthly uh, budget, not budget, but like bills that I have to pay, my reoccurring payments is around $1,546. I say $1,600 in case I missed anything. And then with my current um, expense, business expenses, I'm around $1,800 in the whole so I'm really looking about 3300 per month, not including business expenses, which is like 3300 per month, including business expenses, 1600 a month, not including business expenses. So looking at 3300 a month, right? Um, it's pretty sweet. Uh, about, let's see, 900 a month goes to rent. Uh, oh, this does not include my car payment. So I'm actually around 1800 a month with my car payment. I was thinking about whether I should give up my car. Like, I just don't really need it here in Cali. Like, I can get a Prius, right? But... I do need it in Cali. Matter of fact, I do need my car. What the heck? But... At the same time, it's like, you know, it's like car, not car. It's like 300 a month for a car that I can't drive. 
10 grand to fix it, 10 grand to pay it off. It's like, what am I gonna do? You know what I mean? It's total, it's wrecked. I have to make payments on it, right? Uh, but whatever, I don't want to get the repo on my, on my payments. So my plan is to at least make the payments until I can put down on a new car. Because my credit's, my credit's doing pretty good now. And I bought the car with a 500 credit score. I have a 600, almost 700 now, so that should be good. And then, um, so car 270. My savings is 189 overall. But savings includes money I'm saving and my investments. So that's like Self, Robinhood, Acorns, my IRA, things like that. And then, um, let's see. I pay $7 a month for donations. So, you know, donating. Gotta give out, right? Gotta donate. So $7 a month in donations. And then food. My food budget is actually 400 a month. I was just spending a hundred dollars a week on food. Sheesh. Dang, that's a lot. All right, transit, transportation is about twenty dollars per trip, which if I were to, if I do transportation the whole month, adds up about eight hundred thirty-two. But that hopefully I don't have to do that every month. All right, and then eighteen hundred dollars of that. Which is not bad, you know, um, to get even down. So I broke it up into savings, my cats, $50 a month, rent, 900 donations, $7, food, 400 transportation, um, 200 right? And then those just break it down even more into A, rent, 900 gas, 500 Transportation, 500. Apple. Apple Apple credit card, $50. Banfield, $40. America, which is my insurance policy, $90. I need to do that. It's about $700 for the year. Um, Fundrise, $10. That's my real estate investment. I do that $10 or more, depending on how business is going. Donations, seven dollars or more is usually seven to twenty dollars. Shopping, three hundred dollars. Capital One, three hundred dollars. I usually max that card out every month, then just pay it. Acorns, five dollars, and then self thirty five. Robinhood, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm really trying to get off Robinhood to get to TD Ameritrade as my um, investment banking, but. Robinhood's really flexible right now. It's good for saving partially. You know, I can invest one dollar here, one dollar there. I have some like change left over, uh, ten dollars, twenty dollars, things like that. Compared to buying full stock, even though I could just buy penny stocks that go up a little bit, sell them after a week or so. But I don't, I don't, I don't like to spend too much time doing stocks. I'm really focusing on the solar right now. You know, it's pretty simple. Budget's pretty decent for California, right? Like eighteen hundred dollars a month. Considering my job, uh, what I'm doing, I mean, considering the work I'm doing, my contract right now, and my commission rate, it's about, i say that's about three deals a month to be comfortable. I have to have closed and paid to me that month, right? Which is hard in the solar, in the whole solar industry. When you have that first month, month and a half is hard because by the time you get paid for your first closed deal, it's like three, four weeks down the line sometimes, especially when it comes to things like all the, like it's like a 10 step process, man, it's a lot. But the possible income is crazy, right? If you look up the Rise University on YouTube, you can see all those kids. I could probably link it below, Rise University, it's insane. Um, but yeah, it's pretty valid, it's pretty valid budget. The only thing I'm missing is health. And then once I have health insurance, I'm pretty established. Oh, my phone payment, one twenty. Never mind. Now my 